butter dusters, all sorts of stuff. A little bit bigger hollow, and they could really do with a, a little bit more protein part. Protein pod in your fish and your corals, and all sorts of things. Our company's done a lot of training in the past. We've come out with something completely new. Hi, I'm Sean the Science Guy at Something Fishy. Here today we're going to talk about corals and coral nutrition. I hear it in the stores a lot where people think they put this big expensive light on top of their fish tank that that's all the energy that their corals need. Well, that's not so much the truth. Your corals take in about 80% of their daily net carbon need from the light that's provided. It's up to us as aquarists to provide the other 20%. How you go about doing that, there's a lot of different ways to do so, and it kind of depends on the types of corals that you're trying to feed. You gotta remember that co corals have small polyps and some corals have big polyps. Depending upon the type of polyp in the coral that you're trying to feed, that's gonna dictate the type of prey that you're gonna allow that coral to feed on. So small polyps, small prey, big polyps, big prey. At the basic level of the food pyramid in the ocean, you'll find phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is consumed by pretty much any type of filter feeding organism, corals, feather dusters, all sorts of stuff. The next level of the food pyramid is zooplankton, and that can be provided by this product, uh, Rotifeast, which is a rotifer uh, re replacement. These two products alone are a great entry level into feeding your corals, but there's also some other things that you can also feed them as well. Oyster eggs, just like your eggs in the morning with your bacon, it's got a lot of protein, fatty acids, and lipids, which really provide a lot of energy for the corals at a, at a basic level. These three products combined are what 99% of all of our service customers get. If you're trying to target feed some other types of corals that have a little bit bigger polyp, and they could really do with a, a little bit more protein punch, something like the Mysis Feast or the Arctic Feast, it's a bigger prey item, it's a, for a bigger polyp, it's gonna do well with corals such as open brain corals, Achenastrias, Trachophilias, and Welsophilias. Those guys will really jive on this kind of stuff. This last product right here is the Tigger Pods. These are actually a live culture of a type of copepod that your fish and your corals and all sorts of filter feeders will consume. It's a great item to bolster and reintroduce the, the copepod population in an old tank, or if you're just starting up a new tank, it's a great way to kind of get some of that live little critter stuff going on in the tank that all your organisms are gonna really thrive and grow on. So that's about it for coral nutrition today. Check us out at Something Fishy to see some more great videos and uh, get some more great information. That was so good. <laughs> You ruin your goodness. You ruin her. You do. You gotta see it. This is not stupid, hard on. Ah, super hard. I think it's a bigger thing. It's so funny. It's really good. You ignore it. Okay, that's it. Okay, this one has a good one.